Hey there, this is Dr. Jeremy Steiner from Electroacupuncture Medicine. Do you want to know a great way to restore your patient's sense of smell? Well, in this video, I show one of the most effective acupoints, which typically works fast to accomplish this, and most times only one treatment is necessary to restore a patient's sense of smell. Now, this treatment only requires two needles and some electricity. Please enjoy. All right, so let's dive right in here. I've pulled up the olfactory nerve point on this app called Auriculo360, and this is what it is here. And I've had some great successes from loss of smell due to post-viral infection. And one that comes to mind is a woman around 40 to 45 years old, she comes in, she has lost, lost her taste and smell, and um, she had a viral infection probably about six months prior, so the smell and taste have not returned since then. And what I did is I gave her a piece of candy, um, and then she felt what that was like, or she tasted it and, and smelled it and said that it was not much, it was bland, she couldn't even taste sweetness from it. And then I used my Pointo Select to find the most active point in the olfactory nerve area that you see on this chart here. Once I did that, I needled it, and then I used the other ear also because these cranial nerves are bilateral, both sides of the body, so you're gonna to wanna to treat both ears or both sides of the body for this. I again used my Pointo Select, or you can use any type of point finder. The best is a bipolar point finder to find the most electrically conductive acupoint in the olfactory nerve point. So I needled the left and the right olfactory nerve point. Then I hooked up my machine. Now what frequency would we use for this? Well, we can turn on this Noje overlay here and we can see that this is in the brain area, this pink zone here, which is 146 hertz. So that's the frequency that I used. And I treated this for 20 minutes. And then after the treatment, I pulled the needles out, turned off the machines, of course. And then I gave her a piece of candy again and her smell and taste returned. Even some tears came to her eyes. She couldn't believe it that one treatment and her sense of smell started to return or did return. Now, you don't see this sort of huge result on the first treatment in every patient, but if you're really locating these points correctly, needling them and treating them correctly with electricity, you should be able to see some change after just a 20 minute treatment. In other words, if I had a different patient that I did this on, and maybe this, the smell only returned maybe 10 or 15% after 20 minutes, that's a fantastic sign that the treatment is working. And the body needs time to clean up. For example, once we provide enough energy to the immune system or to the body so that it can regenerate cells or clean up what needs to be cleaned up, this takes time. It takes time for white blood cells to go around and clean up all the toxins and dispose of them. So that if a patient comes in and I only got 15% return of smell after a 20 minute treatment, I expect that the result's gonna get stronger and stronger so that when I ask them 24 hours later or, or 48 hours later, that their smell should be returned even more drastically than that 15%. So please use this in your clinics to help our patients. What happens is some sort of toxin, like a spike protein, sits on nerves. If it sits on the vagus nerve, then the patient passes out. Or if it sits on the olfactory nerve, then they can lose their sense of smell. Why is that? Well, if there's a spike protein on the olfactory nerve and the immune system comes and senses that foreign protein, that foreign spike protein, protein, it will start to attack it to get rid of it. And that causes inflammation and inflammation causes pressure and nerves don't like that. Basically, it's immune system cleaning up the toxin that is sitting on the nerve that creates that loss of smell due to inflammation, edema, so on and so forth. So when you 
stimulate the immune system by providing energy, when you stimulate this olfactory nerve, it can begin to heal, but that takes some time to get rid of inflammation and correct itself. So there you go. We electroacupuncturists have the best treatment to restore sense of smell. And this is my number one go-to point to do so. It's called the olfactory nerve point. Now, if you notice, this area here is in the brain lobe area. It's actually the frontal lobe of the ear, which is the frontal lobe of the brain, which is also the stomach spleen channel goes to the frontal lobe, which also feeds the nasal passages and sinuses. So if you notice this, if you're used to treating sinuses, it's also in this area here where the olfactory nerve is found. So what'd you think? Feel free to leave your feedback in comments below and click the subscribe button to get notified of new content and visit www.electro-acupuncturemedicine.com for even more information about cutting edge classes in electric medicine. I'll see you soon.